Hello and welcome back to Mini CTM Sandstone. This guy's gonna be a jerk. Oh, he's gonna be a glitchy jerk. He's actually right there. And I do have some blocks, so I would like to take this moment to go somewhere a little special. And I hate to tear apart this building. But this is the easiest way to get to where I want to be. Oh, hello, everybody. Do I have any arrows? No, I do not. So we're just going to kill you all normal like. We're going to be calm. We're going to run at you and try to get you to fall off. Perfect. And you just go away. Excellent. There's nothing spawning up here. And I hear the satisfying crunch of spider legs. Oh, gosh. Hello. Please leave me alone. Thanks. Did I get your arrow? No, it fell off the edge. Challenge block nine. Ooh. Which means it has fortune nine. Which means that's the best thing to use for our farming needs. Apologize for the halfway thoughts here. I'm... <laughs> I'm going to put this for safety. I'm trying to pay attention to many different things at once. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice. That doesn't look so nice. So I wonder how safe the pathway back is. Oh, and there's more iron. I forgot about that iron. So there's iron there. And like I said, I don't mind the first iron that the player gets. have to be something crazy stupid like that, where you got to dig in a very precarious situation you gotta maybe build up a wall and here's some coal if we need it but you guys probably remember that because that was just one whole episode ago and boy wanted an ender pearl help in this situation so I want to go over to those skeleton towers I was I was trying to tell you guys about those and I'm not sure if I was really very descriptive don't let him touch me the spider seems friendly, so I'm just going to leave him alone. Oh, gosh. Whew. I thought this was... Oh, this is normal mode. I usually play in easy mode. I was saying, I thought this was easy mode. Why'd he jump down to get me? Oh, my gosh, creepers. Go in the lava. Go in the lava. Go in the lava. Okay. Do that. Do whatever you want. I'm not the boss of you. Although, coming up here without... Uh, I don't have arrows. Dang it. I want to go up there. Okay. Let me talk to you about it real quick. It seems safe. There are spawners in each of these towers. And they have custom position data. So the spawner that is spinning away inside this tower is going to try to spawn a skeleton there. And their range is set to something ridiculous. Because it they work better, obviously, at night. I've given them space inside here, inside the chamber. There's like a few valid places. If you're familiar with spawners, you know that they're constantly looking within a certain range for a valid location. It picks a random location. If it's valid, it succeeds. You see, there he is. And so even in the day they can spawn, but it's set to something like 500. So even when you're over here, as long as this chuck is loaded in, it will be trying to spawn and it will succeed eventually. And you're surrounded on both sides by pits. And there's a guy in there. And lava. And you can kill him. But if he hits you. If he hits you. Ooh. It kicks you. And I don't remember if I lowered the punch on their bow specifically. But for most of my wind force skeletons they're called. The punch on their bow is like level two. And it, it really hurts. And it can send you flying. I've used them in a lot of different areas of many of my maps. Because I first thought of them, I believe, in this series. In this, not the series, because that'd be all three maps, right? This map. Sandstone. I believe they were an original creation for this map. And so for that reason, they're kind of, they appear in all my maps. There's a collaboration project that I'm part of that if it ever gets released, 
uh, those guys are in there too for a really, a really genius, I think, area. So let's see, what do I want to do? I should harvest the wood just so I'm slowly building up my wood reserve. And I should prepare myself for dungeon two. So I'm going to do that. And we will be right back. All right, let's see what kind of damage we can do over here. Ooh, I'm trying to take a shortcut and... It's gonna hurt. That's okay. I got food, which means I can heal. I've got, what should I call it? Mundane equipment, really? And I got leather, chest, pants. I have a decent bow. No arrows. I'm hoping to find some arrows. And of course some stone supplies. And really, did I need to bring my stone axe? No, I did not, but whatever. It's here. <laughs> it's here. It's with me. It's my friend. And so welcome to Dungeon 2. And I use the same kind of pattern to decorate that lava. And I want to get some stones, some blocks, because I obviously did not do that ahead of time when I should have. And I really just need enough to get out here. I think there is, there's some simple armor in here. At least we don't have to light up the area, even at night. Up here is going to be pretty safe. Thanks to all the lava. Thanks, lava. And this is Lava Walker. The lava may still hurt, but at least now you might survive. Yeah, Fire Protection 3, I don't think that will make the difference. Fire Resistance, 10 seconds. Flash Potion. This is going to give me Fire Resistance for a minute, but it's going to give me 10 seconds of nausea and half a minute of weakness, which... Not great. But it could be the difference between surviving. So... To start off, let's just chug this, and it's going to get wibble-wobble for 10 seconds. So I'm sorry. It won't last long. Wrong button. There you go. So enough to be annoying, but not enough to really hurt anything. And what am I, what am I thinking? I got fire resistance. So let's, let's go down here. <laughs> So one of my design philosophies, and I believe I mentioned it before, is, I don't need that string, is that I try to give items leading up to Dungeon 1 that will help you in Dungeon 1. And I try to give items in, how can I do this? try to give you items in uh, Dungeon 1 that will help you with Dungeon 2. There we go. And of course, in Dungeon 2 here, I will give you items that will help you in Dungeon 2, but also in... Ow! Fire resistance is gone. But that would also help you in Dungeon 3. Right, granted, you have random mob spawning, so you can't always prepare for whatever, but I did my best to make it kind of work that way, basically so that you kind of progress along. Safety glass firewall. Now there's some, there's some fire. That's going to help us make chain armor. There's a skeleton that I cannot attack from here because I do not have the required materials. Whoop! And I do not want to fall down there. No, no, no. Now this dungeon might actually be easier in parts uh, than... That looked different for some reason. Than the first one, and that's just because the cobwebs are so annoying. These are called fire zombies. You do not want them to touch you. And now they're all spawning. So actually the tactic we're going to have to use here is to back off. Let them come to me. 
kill them and then run forward with some torches and hope that more don't spawn right in front of my face. Come on, guys. And maybe, maybe they will give me their armor. That is a very good possibility. Oh, that's a regular zombie. Oh, see, now we're on fire. That didn't, that he didn't get me good, so. Oh, gosh. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Dang it. Didn't work. Oh, well. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Now let's see if I get my stuff back. I'm going to come up here and grab a few blocks. The idea behind the glass was you'd have a way to maybe build a little defense if you needed to build one. And do I have torches? I want to get my torches on my bar, and I want to start laying down the law here. Oh, he might hit me. But the first thing I need to do is make it so these guys cannot slowly fill up everywhere. What is this? Smite? Good. Perfect. Actually, if you guys could give me your sword, that would be wonderful. Although I will tell you, it is a flame sword. So that means if you hit someone with it, and then they come charging back at you, you will still be set on fire. <laughs> so you have to use them responsibly. And I think I might keep one of these going. There's that skeleton. I bet that's the same one that killed me. Oh, my health is fine. I saw my low food bar, and I started to freak out for a second there. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Nope. I don't think so. Okay. It'd be helpful to wear the armor, perhaps. And... Potions on the bar. Eh, let's do that, just because. Now, up ahead, we have something... And I'm hoping I can't... Nope, I can't get to it because of the zombie. Oh, and I didn't eat, so now I'm going slow. That's my fault. Rookie mistake. Come here, zombie. This place is actually probably fairly safe because of all the lava, which is kind of sad. I mean, I suppose it's okay if... No, nope, there he is. Don't hit me. Oh, he ain't shooting. I don't know why he's not shooting. Whatever. I'm gonna kill him off. That, my friends, is called a smoke cloud. That is the name that I gave that fella. And coming up uphill is never, never a good thing. Okay, nope, nope, oh gosh. Really, I'm making this look a lot harder than it is, I believe. <laughs> Come here, Skelly. Give me some arrows. Oh, man, there's a lot of them. No arrows from you. Oh, don't knock me into the lava. Please don't knock me into the lava. I think I just saw a creeper. Yes, I did. Go ahead, blow up. Sucker. You're just a sucker. Please don't spawn like that. Ooh, ooh. Did I lose my bow and arrow? No, I did not. Ooh, I did not unstack the potions when I did that. I'm so lucky. Is he going to slowly shoot at me from up there? Yes, he is. I need to take him out. Oh, I need to get you. I need you dead. Okay, perfect. These guys ain't so bad take them out. You notice the orange glow around them. However, they are fire resistant. Makes sense, right? Fire zombies can't be harmed by fire. Oh my gosh. I actually had to lower the drop rates 
on my custom mobs because it used to be a point where it would just clog up your inventory. Which actually, if you look, is already starting to happen. On the plus side, you could combine them. The kind of little repair thing you do in your inventory. Let's see, I want to be close enough without setting these off. I want to take out this guy. Come on. Oh, that's it. Do, do, do. Please don't spawn. I don't want you to spawn. If you spawn, it will be sad. Don't blow up. Or do blow up. Oh, you knocked out the chest name. I hate you, you jerk. Oh. And I guess if you did the fire resistance thing, then oh, that's going to spawn again. Okay, good. It still might pop something. It's going to say you could splash this down, and then when they hit you, at least they won't set you on fire. But it still, it still hurts. It's still a stone sword. Let's see. Flame Bear. Fire Aspect 5, Knockback 2, Unbreaking 10. Unbreaking 10 is obviously a troll enchantment. It's not going to do anything. This is the same thing, but it's in a stack of five, so let's take that. I'm going to leave that there. I don't want to set things on fire. Knockback 2 is nice and actually can be quite useful in many different cases. Unless you are, for example, fighting skeletons, which is always an issue I have. Oh, good. I have a knockback, and I'm fighting a skeleton. Wonderful. Okay, okay. This place is pretty lit up. Still getting some light updates. I don't know. Nope, that didn't stop. Blow up. Dang it. Okay. I'm gonna do this. So temporarily, like really temporarily, where'd that guy go? He cannot hurt me. Oh, and my fire resistance is gone. It really is a short duration. Is it 10 seconds or five seconds? 10 seconds, okay. Creeper. I need to get that creeper gone. Get real low on food. Eh, I got this as a backup, I suppose. Let's get that off my bar. Where are these zombies that are burning? Maybe on the other side of that wall? Let's do this. I just don't want a sword to... Oh, there he is. Oh gosh. Two threats. Not what I wanted. Actually, not too terrible. I am getting super low on torches, though, however. And there's another spawner there, and let's back off. Do, 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 do. Oh gosh. Okay, I need to heal. I need to quit fooling around. <laughs> yeah, I can say it now. Um, right now, this is easier than the first dungeon. Of course, if I die, I won't be able to say that so much. I think I just saw lava dropping. Now, I'll tell you, I think in places, I put lava up above, just one block, just so it would drip. Just to give you that feeling like you're really under a giant lava lake. This is totally the fire dungeon. Oh man. Come on guy, come up here. One torch. One torch to rule them all. Oh, that was not a good idea. No, oh, two torches. Oh, cause I picked one up. Very good. Force bow. I have one arrow. Alright, let's just get these guys. Come on. What do you want? Actually, using their sword against them would not actually help you. It would set them on fire, which would do nothing to them. And, here we go. Now we're getting some armor. Oh gosh. Yeah, it wouldn't damage them. The fire 
itself on it. Where are you coming from? That ain't right. Let's get rid of you. Oh, gosh, dang it. Nope. I'm getting assaulted from both sides. And I think I just heard a blaze. And now I'm hearing the silverfish. And I know there's a spawner back here somewhere. And please don't feel like I'm metagaming here. Oh, gosh. It made something. See, when you see that flash, that's your that's your clue. Can I eat enough where I can heal? Barely. <sighs> okay, we're going to switch into some fire protection gear. I thought I heard somebody. We're doing pretty all right. Not bad. So far, it's not a thing that I don't have iron. So far, that's not a big deal. Um, I suppose if you had iron and a bucket, you'd be you'd be doing pretty well. Now, so far, I haven't had a blaze drop a rod. That would really be the best situation you, you could have. Granted, you'd have to go all the way back to wherever your potion making stand is. Your brewing stand. But if you took the time to do it, man, where are you guys coming from? And I know there's a spawner right around the corner, which is why I keep backing off. These dang silverfish, too. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, that's the other thing creepers will do. They'll reveal that this place is really a back and forth. Ooh, fire skeleton. Oh, gosh. See, now I'm in trouble. <sighs> Ten seconds. Ten seconds where his arrows are just regular arrows. Suckers! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, gosh. Why did I do silverfish? I hate silverfish. And they seem to be going slow. They should be going fast. Yeah, I know. Why would I do that? <laughs> Why would I take silverfish and then make them fast? But I did. That's what I did. I gotta break this. I gotta break this. I gotta break it. Yes. Sucker. Suckers! And you want to be careful. Most of these, not all of them, but most of them are going to be silverfish. What do we got in here? Aha! Challenge block. Except, I'm noticing I'm really low on health. So we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And we're going to end it here. Because <laughs> right now I'm safe. And in between, now and then, I'm not sure if I'll have a mapping episode out next episode. Because like I said, we got to go through the areas and see what changes we need to make. And I only have a few things, a few changes that I want to do so far. Um, <laughs> and I got this. So I think I'll take this back to the base, get resupplied. I need to find a good source of arrows. Maybe that's a, a chest we need to add in here if there's not one already for it. So I guess that means that'll do it for this episode. This has been b -Ran. I will see you next video. Have a great day.